Welcome. This is the energy vibration for Yuli Virgo, Sun, Moon, and Rising sign. You wait, need how to name it the brill off. It comes to upset her. But um, um, for I uh, thank you so much for your help, your support, your guidance. I am wishing you, Virgos, a wonderful new 2017 that is coming up. This is your energy vibration. Um, for the Virgos who are having birthday, the birthday readings is already up. So you can always watch a birthday readings, but also watch people who are not having birthdays. Also, please remember to listen to your sun, moon, and rising sun. And I want to say thank you so much to you, Virgos. I am so connected with you guys. Um, please listen to your sun moon and rising sign and thank you for all the messages and the wonderful support and the love that you have been sending me this is positive it's a um, very positive whatsoever is happening I see the wheel of fortune came out while I was shuffling your reading and it just flew out and it stand positive up but you have the wheel <clears throat> you have the energy of uh, the six of uh, the six of um, swords what you'll be working with in this week so a lot of you people decide to walk away from something and to leave something behind or you need to walk away from something and leave something behind whatever this is you need to walk away and leave it behind because it is the end okay and what I am getting this a week is the week of judgment a week of judgment as the energy vibration um, from water emotions and it also has the energy vibration from a grounding a balancing in your life so whatever is playing out in your life you need to understand whatever that is going on in your life at this moment is a karmatic situation you have created karma for yourself and sometimes people don't like when I say this but we create karma for ourselves sometimes we come back in this lifetime to clear um, karmas but whatsoever is happening on um, there is going to be changes coming in um, the king of Pentacles your own self is in the middle of the um, reading it's going to be that um, sort of an energy so all you Virgos are going to be awakened okay whatever is happening you Virgos are going to be awakened and on uh, Monday you have really a situation where money is not there okay can also feel as if you have left in the dark okay whatever is happening on Monday you are going to realize that uh, your financial situation is not in balance whatsoever is happening on Friday it's going to be looking better I don't know what is happening but you guys have um, um, situations that are happening you're walking away from something some of you your work is going to be ended um, they're going to pay you off on Friday your work is going to be ended whatever the situation that occurs so let's look and see what is um, happening for you guys what is happening for you guys we have the nine of Pentacles with a one wheel of fortune is ten um, we have a situation here that the number nine is going to play a significant role in your life whatever is happening the number nine is here to, uh, three times so there's an ending nine ninety nine nine so you have three times nine when three times nine come there is an ending to something in your life a karmatic situation and this can be ending with people situation organization there is an ending that came up in your life there is going to be an ending that is happening in your life okay let's look at Monday on Monday you have earth energy and you have the energy vibration of the five of Pentacles what is whatever is happening is that you are feeling um, some people will be um, having financial problems on Monday whatever the situation is some people will be having financial problems on Monday and some people are going to feel as if uh, you're left out in the cold and this is your own making you did this to yourself okay whatever you create you did this to yourself but what's coming up for you on Friday is the nine of Pentacles so you have no need to worry about money because the nine of Pentacles money is going to be there whatever you need whatever financial situation you need you will have support money will be there okay the nine of Pentacles the energy of money will be there someone 
who is also of a pentacle sign just as yourself whether Taurus or Capricorn is going to help you out on Tuesday we have the energy vibration of the seven of ones the seven of ones on Tuesday you're trying to protect yourself from situation but you have created the situation in your life it's not as if people just stand up and is going after you you have created a situation in your life and on Monday a uh, Tuesday you're trying to uh, protect yourself and um, you will receive a message about money it says if you are protecting yourself you need you are going to receive a message about money whatever the situation is some people will be um, paying out and some people will be receiving a message about it okay because there's a actually a situation about your financial situation on Tuesday so the seven of ones is always you trying to protect yourself uh, but you create the situation whatever you're protecting yourself from you have created it yourself as we move forward we have the king of pentacles so this week for you Virgos so whoever you are um, especially for the men Virgos it's going to be a week for you where um, you need to rest so for you Virgo men in this week you need to rest you can work and rest you can work but yet still you are taking it easy okay you need to rest in this week you men for the women it's going to be a time also that you need to take some inner um, you need to you know be calm and look inwards to yourself look at inwards to yourself at what you have done you know you need to you need to connect with yourself and see what you have done you have, you need to see what you have created for other people and what you have done to yourself okay you um, feel sorry for yourself but you created especially the women this is for the women you created whatever happened on Thursday you have the fool you're going on a new journey whatever happened on Thursday you are going on a new journey by going on this new journey you have the energy of the hermit comes to you to show you that you need to learn this lesson you need to go inwards and look at yourself and look at what you have created for yourself because you have created this karma this current came out chaotic situation and now you need to move on a new journey you need to leave something and move and and, and look for a new part a new journey forward as we look forward we have the energy vibration of on Friday the nine of Pentacles so here again you saw that um, you had financial problems on Monday and the energy of the nine of Pentacles was on its way and now the nine of Pentacles is here on Friday and you have the ace of one so whatever your financial situation is whatever um, that was going on in the beginning of the week on Friday you have um, the, um, the nine of Pentacles money is coming in uh, a new part a new life so whenever um, you know it's as if Monday you grow really down you had no money on Friday pay out payday for some people um, payday on Friday for some people and for other people maybe you receive help so you know whatever the situation the nine of Pentacles come on Friday and nine of Pentacles come with a new beginning okay so whatever that your financial situation was whatever because on Thursday you decide to go on a new journey you get nine of Pentacles because it was something ended this week is a week of ending a lot of people are going to um, um, lose their work in this week a lot of people are going to decide to move away from certain things in certain situation and they're going to start new beginnings on Thursday and on Friday it's as if a payout came to you and you are on a new journey so whatever is happening a lot of people it's going to affect a lot of people a lot of people are going to lose their job or walk away from their job because the energy of this week is leaving something behind so a lot of people either you're going to get fired or you're going to walk away from your job but whatever you're doing something is that you need to leave something behind a situation um, organization something you need to leave behind and walk away there is going to be financial security to help you further okay whatever you're doing financial security as we move forward we have the energy vibration of the ten of Pentacles and this is going to be good because whatever is happening this energy of the ten of Pentacles you are the nine of Pentacles on Friday and the ten of Pentacles on Saturday so on Saturday you're going to receive that money and this is going to be a lot of money it this is a lucky week 
it is really a lucky week a lot of your earth sign people have been getting the wheel of fortune you have you Virgos have the wheel of fortune twice in this week so whatever is happening on Saturday you're going to win some money or some money is going to come to you because on Saturday you will be financially balanced so whatever is happening to you you have the wheel of fortune coming up twice because when I was shuffling your card the wheel of fortune just fall out and this is for people who have been positive this is for people who have been really really being positive really trying your trying to change your energy vibration if you thought that you you know you have done someone something and hurt someone else in a negative way and by lying and cheating this is not for you this is for people who have been honestly open up really being positive really trying to work hard financial balance is going to come in your life as we move on to Sunday we have the three of cups Sunday is going to be a celebration for a lot of people and this is only for the people who have been positive if you have been negative if you have been lying cheating creating chaos in other people life the weekend is not for you the weekend is going to be the opposite polarial the opposite vibration of these wonderful cards so there's a celebration and the Sun comes out this is going to be wonderful this is going to be positive whatever the celebration is whatever is happening in your life it's going to be so positive it's going to be a happy place to be it's going to be a wonderful time so Sunday you end the week in a positive note and this is good because you are vibrating with the energy vibration of bringing balance and stability in your life it's all about you as a person it's all about the people who have been working who have been doing negativity and negative energies and bring a negative um, situation in other people life it's not going to be a good week for you because the universe is going to come in and it's going to teach you a very tough lesson it's going to teach you a very tough lesson you are going to see and you're going to feel this energy it's very very hard because whatever you have done instead of you um, try to heal the situation you have made it um, worse by lying and cheating so whatever is happening you need to understand that this is going to affect you for the people who are positive it's going to be a wonderful promising week it's going to be a week that you need to take a rest and by taking rest you're going to see positive on Saturday buy the lottery people buy the lottery because the wheel of fortune is here with a ten of pentacles okay this is positive I'm constantly getting this and what energies do we have here I am using the wisdom of the house of night and we have a denial some people are so in denial and this this energy are for the people who are working on the lower energy the people who are still in the 3d world who are lying cheating denying lying about stuff hurting other people you know playing the game of creating karma for other people and creating chaos around other people and you are in denial let's see what is the message of denial is saying because uh, there's a lot of people out there that is playing denial because I saw what you did last week to someone at your work and now you're playing denial so let's see what denial is saying not everything is in reach my child sometimes I must create distance between what you want and when or how you are meant to receive it consider the weight for your eye is good you are not meant to achieve what you want right now keep the faith and for if you wait and show present um, patience I will reveal some wondrous things later this is a gently warning um, nor uh, not to get caught up in your desires to reach your goal too soon you may choose sour fruits that only look ripe and juicy in this case I alone know when the time is ripe patience my child patience okay this is clear this is clear whatever you were trying and going after and you were playing this thing this denial role you need to wait because it's not your time 
whatever you're trying to do if even you're using um, black magic or whatever you're using to it's not gonna work it's not gonna work you need to wait everything come in divine timing for each and every person on this planet so when people try to block other people and that's why the universal angels will come in and clear aware of the blockage and that sort of a thing for the people who are in denial in this week you created the situation and you're trying to be in denial of what you have done but the universe is always watching last card that we have oh my god grounded you need to ground yourself yeah with a situation like this and what you're reading you really really need to ground yourself and this is not for everyone this is for the people you know who you are that has been lying cheating doing stuff against other people creating chaos with groups of people you need to ground yourself okay you're in denial and you need to ground yourself let's see what is the positive energies for the people who have been working positive you have the pink rose of Lady Nada. I love Lady Nada so much, and as an earth person, you should work with Lady Nada. She's one of the most beautiful, beautiful goddesses. Not only her beauty, but what she does is awaken your true spiritual uh, beam as who you are as a person. The pink, uh, see, I'm holding it up. Let me. Let me let me hold it up so it's big because it's a big card. The pink rose of Lady Nada. Call upon Lady Nada and ask her to place the big pink rose over you. This will awaken your spiritual truth of who you are. So for this is a positive energy for the people who have been vibrating on a positive note. Lady Nada works with Earth Angel people because you are a Virgo sign. You work with the hurt, mother hurt, and Lady Nada is coming and bringing you the pink uh, rose from her. And this is accepted. Say, Lady Nada, I accept this pink rose. This is uh, so wonderful. And she's guiding me to read the message that is in this book. It's going to be a little but um, she's guiding me these are new decks that I have been um, using I keep on seeing hell 1111 all morning I have been seeing 1111 is coming up it's the portal the gateway is opening up for myself too because they have been showing me this 1111 okay let's look and see what lady Nada she wants me to re read this message for you guys uh, lady Nada the pink rose of Lady Nada. And her message is You are in the midst of a heart healing, a healing of the fear and anxieties that have held you back from enjoying your full manifestation. Lady Nada is here with all her gently power washing you in soft pink lights. And I can smell it. All anger, fear, sadness, bitterness, disappointments, and earth are smoothed and loved into place. So, she brings you a sign of your future blossoming into deep love. So, whatever has happened to you, because I can smell the pink roses. Um... Okay, so again, Lady Nada, I uh, call upon Lady Nada. Lady Nada is going to be blessing each and one, every one of you, um, Virgos, knowingly and unknowingly. She is going to be standing by you guys. As you feel her, you will smell a beautiful um, fragrance of the pink roses because I can smell it right now. And know that she's in your midst. Ask her the place uh, as she says, Lady Nada is here. With all her gently power washing you in soft pink lights. So ask Lady Nada to wash you in soft pink lights. So wash away all the angers, all the fear, sadness, bitterness, disappointment, and hurt are smoothing and loved in uh, smoothing love into place and into peace okay so this is wonderful acts Nader ladder to work with you for the people who are not grounded acts for grounding acts the angels to ground you and I'm saying 
to each and every one of you Virgos namaste until next week have a wonderful week